Hey everyone, Sean from Cordy Comics. Thanks for joining today. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick short little video about some great finds that I've snagged up for a great deal. Um, and I just wanted to kind of give you a show of what I've been up to the past couple of days into June. I know, uh, I feel like this year is flying by, um, but the hunt is on. Um, I do know I have probably some really great stuff coming out in the near future. Um, so in like early August, I'm taking some time off from work, some paid time off, and um, going to fly back east to visit uh, some family and friends in the New England area. That's where I grew up. Um, so with that, I'm actually planning um, just like a road trip to hit as many comic book stores as I can as possible. Um, hoping for the best that I can find some great deals on some books there, but um, just doing a search, I was like, oh, I didn't know there was this many comic book stores um, in Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Started to look at New Hampshire, um, and then I might visit a friend up in Maine, so I'm going to see uh, what stores are up in that area. If you do know any shops in those areas, uh, let me know down below in the, um, in the comments, and I'll definitely... Uh, see if I can hit up those um, shops. Um, but what I wanted to show today is um, just some stuff I've grabbed in the past couple of weeks, just thinking about um, some top of minds for me, always trying to find some, um, I don't think I have any X-Men books today, but um, actually I have a few, but just uh, f um, completing some runs and then thinking about grading some books, and then if I see a hot title, obviously I want to grab it. Um, so with that, I wanted to start off um, with this. So it's Bitterroot number one. Um, this book is in amazing condition. I want to send it out to get graded, um, but I want to show you how I want to do it. Um, so I scored this for cover price. I'm super excited about that. Um, so this is option for um, a show. Um, I have two copies of number two. Again, cover price. Um, issue number three. Uh, and then issue number five. So I'm missing four. Uh, the thing to know about Bitterroot is I believe every five covers is a connecting panel. So the books should connect. Yeah, so if you do something like this, they should connect and create a, and create a scene. Um, so I'm wanting to do that for issues one through five and then, then grade issues one through five and then sell issues one through five. I don't know if I wanna do it as a set or do it as a single and see how much uh, they go for. Uh, and then Stray Dogs, number one. This this title has been pretty popular. I uh, just got cover A. I have a um, one of the movie covers for number one as well. Uh, and then we have number two. Um, and then I scored this for like close to nothing. I think like five bucks, but the champions. <laughs> Uh, fun thing to know about this is uh, you see Iceman and Angel, so they, they went there after uh, the new team formed, and this title was eventually cancelled. Um, but ironically, it's going for a decent amount. Um, these finally came in, so my Something is Killing the Truth, number 16, the 1 in 25, and 1 in 50. Ironically, like, the 1 in 50 is not as rare as the, um, the one per store, because not every store ordered them. So that's why you're seeing that one per store going for about $150 now, which is a little weird because it's just the version of the cover A. Um, and then I grabbed some copies of New X-Men. So this is the start of the new run by um, Morrison. And then this one here, which is issue number, what was that, 115? Yeah, 115, which is um, the first appearance of oh, Megasonic, Warhead, whatever the name is. 
have a character that's in Deadpool, so um, I was missing this in the run that I do have. And I, whenever I see this cover for cheap, I always snag it. Um, and then I'm I'm probably going to do a completion of the Carmen run. Uh, so this is the one in 25 of just the cover A, and then this is the sketch of um, number three. I think these covers are beautiful. They look like they're on like a Strathmore, but it's just like scanned and printed on their regular stock. This one has a couple of dings, but I think I can press them out, get them for cheap. Um, and then that Ms. Marvel run that I showed you before, I don't have a lot of the issues. And so uh, I found issue two and three. I did pay a decent price for these, but they're in great condition. So I thought I would snag them up. So this is the second appearance of Carol Danvers, if you want to call it the third appearance. Um, and then I did see this at my local shop. Um, only Wolverine number one, which is like the X-23 run of Wolverine. Um, I have a couple of issues in there, um, but I, I'm not getting the full run. So I just was like, yeah, I'm just gonna grab that. And then last but not least, got this baby here. Uh, definitely not comic book size, as you can see. <laughs> um, so we have Marvel graphic novel number four, which is the first appearance of these characters here from the New Mutants. Um, it's kind of, I'm trying to figure out how to, how and when to send this out because this is like a different size to be graded. So either I have to find other magazine size stuff to get graded or just like hold out for this. Um, but I, I've been listening to the podcast Cerebro. Um, and it's really good that you go through just like character profiles and um, and just kind of looking at the characters through many different lenses. And the host has a bunch of different um, guests that come on. Either um, he has a lot of ties and affiliations to like the Marvel universe, and so he's had a lot of the writers on there. Um, but it's been it's been pretty interesting. I've been listening to that. Um, in my morning routines and it's just kind of great to kind of fill in the gaps of some of the the characters but i'll link it down below so you can check that out um but that's that's all that i have so far um i was thinking of making some like how-to tutorials um i was thinking of doing one just like better storage um as well as um shipping because i've definitely gotten my share of stuff that hasn't been shipped well. <laughs> so I was just gonna kind of put that out there to share that knowledge with you all. Um, but thanks again for stopping by. Of course, um, please give this a thumbs up. If you like this content, um, definitely subscribe for future content. Um, I'm gonna start setting up a cadence a little bit more of my hauls. Um, as soon as I get back my graded comics, I have three sets of 25 out at CGC right now. And so I'm waiting for those. <laughs> we'll see when I get those back. I was thinking about um, doing a run at CBCS. Uh, anyone have thoughts on that? Um, I do have a membership there, so um, I know their turnaround right now is a little bit faster. Uh, but let me know down in the comments below, and I hope you have a great day. See ya. Bye.